Hey everybody, it's Mr. Movies 7 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! It's that time? It's that time? Oh boy, it is that time! It's side quest time! I love this part of the game so much! Alrighty, we have a lot of stuff to tackle in the next handful of, handful of episodes here. And to start on that, we're going back to the Middle Ages! We're gonna be doing the side quest in here pretty much in order from how uh, Gaspar gave us them there. And this one is the Sunken Desert side quest. Uh, you may recall we were around there earlier uh, in the desert here between Poor and uh, Dorino, uh, right over here actually. And we could have gone into that area earlier, but the enemies would have been a little too hard at the time to do so. Um, so I wanted to wait until now. Oh yeah, I can uh, I can see that. There's no plant life or anything like. Well, anywhere. Oh! Well, yeah, we can't really have them eating the seedling there, because that would kind of make your plan all for naught to want to regrow it there. I'll just run right through you, apparently, because you have no physical mass. Oh, you can't defeat them by yourself? Well, it's because you're a coward! Well, actually, no, he's pretty cool. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, delve inside the sunken desert. Uh, party for this area is going to be, uh, as you can see, Magus, Ayla, and Luca. Uh, Ayla's here because she needs the TP for triple kick, and I definitely want that, like, ASAP. Um, Luca's here because she's kind of behind on the experience points. We're just going to do a little loopsy doodle there, I guess. Now, for the desert around here, there are fixed encounters all, all over the place, and we need to clear out all the battles here before we can actually uh, clear, the, clear the desert. Well, yeah, just kill, kill everything in sight, pretty much here. Now, like uh, Marco said, their enemies here are weak to water. Ice, of course, also works there. But that's why Mages is, is uh, in tow here for ice, too. Although Luca, not Luca, Marley or Frogger also work well here for water, too, or ice, too, respectively, there. Ooh, Fire World Dual Tech there. That's between uh, Ayla and Luca there. I think that's a combo of Fire 2 and uh, Dino Tail. I don't know if I'll actually use that, but. I'm sure showed up eventually, perhaps. Uh, but yeah, you can tell here also, uh, kind of weird moving floor here with the desert and all that, obviously. So, yeah, running around here is a little bit annoying-ish, but nothing we can't handle. But really, yeah, the general strat for the enemies around here, and I think the enemies are, these things here are the only ones here, these hexapods. Um, just go water two or ice two on them first. Uh, they do physical attacks, and they're very, very easy after that. And, oh, wow, ow, that actually kind of hurt. That did too. Why do you guys have such sharp tails? What even are you, exactly? Oh, you know what, actually? They kind of look like Sir Crawley, but, like, what he... Like, these are his ancestors were fighting, perhaps. They do look kind of similar. Luca level, I like those. Yeah, there's, like, I think... Five or six battles on the first screen here. This area is not very large, by the way. Um, but yeah, we do have to kill everything in sight, so. But yeah, that is just fine, because enemies here give a lot of experience points and tech points here. Plus, they're super easy to, to uh, kill off here. And yeah, I'll swap in other people here as I go, of course, as per usual. Yeah, this side quest is, uh, like, the shortest and probably the easiest of them overall. Um... Although, I'd also say the one involving Ozzy is another pretty easy one there. That one I'll actually probably do after this one, because that'll get us some really good stuff for Magus there. There's also some uh, really good stuff to charm from the throughout that whole side quest there as well. Ooh, Magic Wall for Magus. Nice. Not that I ever really used that one. I think that, I think that just like buffs your magic defense, I want to say. Uh, yeah, so not really that good. Oh, uh, yeah, there's Dark Bomb, Dark Mist. Uh, I think Dark Mist is pretty much, like, a stronger Dark Bomb, more or less, there, so... It's cool with me. Uh, did you heal it up? And then, yeah, I'm gonna swap some more people in. Um, I will want to have Ayla for the end of the area here, though, because, uh... Well, of course, for Charm, obviously. Uh, let's go ahead and bring, you yeah, Marley and, um... Uh, what a frog, actually, here, yeah. Uh, Chrono will be back around, don't worry. He's just he's just out right now because he's already really high leveled and also he has all of his tets anyhow, so he doesn't doesn't really need to be in the party for right now, honestly. 
Uh, fraud enemies are over. Why are you in the wall? Eh, whatever. Um, oh, actually, good time here to show off their new dual tech here. Glacier. On just one enemy? Oh. Uh, okay, we'll do ice water here, actually. I thought Glacier might be like an AoE targeting one, but I guess not. Will this be better than Magus's Ice 2? Wow, just barely. But it did kill them all in one hit, so I can't complain too much there. Alright, let's see here. I think there's... Okay, another, another, yeah, another battle over here. Not sure where these guys were before. Like, they just came out from out of nowhere, apparently. Ow. Ah, oh, yeah, so we'll just do ice water here. Oh, yeah, for my setup, by the way, I gave Magus the um, gold stud that I had before from Chrono there, just because it's better on him anyway there. Um, oh, he didn't die that time. That's impolite. And then also, yeah, I gave Chrono... I gave him the magic ring for right now. Granted, the uh, silver stud may have been a better choice there. Um... That's mainly to boost the power of his uh, Luminaire tech there, which is really, really good, as we all know, of course. Uh, still going to get healed up here ever so slightly. Seems kind of odd for having Frog healed made just there, but I appreciate the irony of that. Ooh, another Aeon suit. Nice. I already have one of those, though, I think. Okay, now I want to make sure I got all the kills around here. No, I did not. Okay. So, yeah, I want to be thorough here, make sure you kill all the dudes around here. Oh, oh, the new enemy over there. I can't really see it, though. What was it? What was the name of it? Uh, Moha... Moha... something? I can't really tell. I missed it. Uh, Mohavor, or Mohaver. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. Um, uh, still the same way. Just go with Ice 2 or Glacier or what have you. Okay, well, they're pretty easy to deal with there. Less HP than the Hexapod. Yeah, these guys, yeah, overall, not hard to deal with, as, you, as we've already seen. I can't, I can't really say any more about them here. I would just be rambling at, the, at that point. Okay, that should be all of them here now. Also, I love how May just runs, like how he floats above the ground like that. It reminds me of uh, of Shadow from Illusion of Gaia. By the way, great game. Go play it. It's an awesome Super Nintendo action RPG that's part of the... Uh, um, uh, Quintet Trilogy. It's rad as heck. Alrighty, now, so, throughout here, as you'll, well, maybe see here. Oh, that's a big one. Zombor, is that you? Hmm. Ah, apparently so. That's the, the big bat around here. Well, that'll be easy enough to find. Uh, however, whenever you're on the ground here, Whenever that thing pops up, you will actually take damage, uh, which is kind of annoying, but I can't really do anything about that until I actually fight him, which I don't want to do yet. Get the chest, you guys. Yeah, the floor here makes this really annoying to maneuver. There we go. Aeon Helm. Nice. And yeah, all you need to do to initiate combat is just run into the thing itself, and then you'll be good to go. Okay, so grab all the items here first, including the one on the uh, little land mass here. Or I guess not. Well, don't you look familiar? Yeah, pretty much is Zombor here, more or less. For boss time! Alrighty, so I want to get healed up here first, because I kind of took a little bit of a beating from the uh, uh, ground before there. Let's see, now the plan here is pretty much the same as it was with the enemies around here normally. Um... You want to spam haste, well, spam ice too, like, every turn here, pretty much. Um, now, the other parts here will absorb damage from the core here. Uh, I think the core itself, yeah, this is a ret retinite, by the way. Um, yeah, they'll absorb HP from the core here as we go along. And then, yeah, I'm going to go for, I don't think it really matters which half you take out first, the top or the bottom. But yeah, I'll just go for the top one here first. But yeah, you want to use uh, water or ice to lower defense there. And then just go from there. Then. And yeah, you see they're absorbing energy from the core. So yeah, it's a little annoying there. But it healed the, healed the bottom half, so I don't really care about that. Do they? Oh, she's blind. I don't care about that. Because she won't be attacking physically anyway. So that's cool with me. 
Uh, let's go ahead and see how Dark Bomb does here. And yeah, Fraud will pretty much just be spamming Leap Slash here for most of the fight. Um, this should be effective, I would think. We'll see. We'll see. Or... Okay, never mind. Don't do that. That was very bad. <laughs> oh, good to know there, I suppose. Yeah, so I should have maybe done a, did a, a test fight for this earlier. I kind of didn't. I normally like to, though, before I start recording. But I was like, eh, it'll be fine. Not a big deal. Um, okay, so Marley... Um, yeah, I don't really have a good group for this battle here. <laughs> This is probably the, uh... Well, I just... No, it's not the weakest physical party there. It would be... If I had Luka instead of Fraud, yeah, it'd be a lot weaker there. Uh, but, nah, we'll be okay. Just keep on spamming. Actually, no, what I should do here... I'll have May just get on the offense here as well with, this, with a physical attack. I'll have Marley go with Ice 2 here. Really, that way, I'm gonna keep trying to soften the guy's defense here. Even though, yeah, it does no damage, um, it still helps us out all the same there. So, yeah, we'll just keep going after the uh, top part here. And, yeah, eventually, I don't I don't know, actually, if we, can, if we can attack the core right now. This fight is a little weird. Oh, okay, that works there. Okay, uh, cool. Oh, that might kind of hurt there a little bit. Let's get you healed up there. Uh, bosses that drain your HP and heal themselves are just oh so annoying. Never mind that we can heal ourselves. That's fine. I'm okay with that. But when bosses do it to themselves, <laughs> as we all know, no, that's super annoying. Nobody likes that. Okay, there's the Accord down there. Nice. Yeah, now at this point, we can pretty much just go all out here against the, uh, uh both parts here. Keep dropping the defense here. And, uh, oh. Laser spin? How do you have that? Oh, it didn't really do much of anything at all. Oh, ow. This might... Never mind. Don't say I thought that might hurt a tad, but it really didn't. Oh, did I haste on Marley? No, I actually did not. I sh probably should do that. Um, uh, yeah, let's go and do that here right now. I really should have done that first, actually. Did the, did the haster hasted. And yeah, we'll go ice too. Um, oh, that might hurt a tad. Um, yeah, I should probably heal up here a bit. Um, I'll wait for Marley's turn here and use, a uh, Double Cure to show that off there as well. Let's wait for Fraud's turn and Double Cure! And then, uh, uh, yeah, we'll just go for, a, for an, an attack here. I know, anyway, for any other setups you had here with other characters, um, Robo, Uzi Punch, uh, Chrono, Go conf uh, Confused, Alel, Rock Thrower, Triple Kick there. Luca, She can't really do much here herself. Like, uh, maybe Napalm would be good. Or if not, um, have her just heal for the most part there. She, yeah, she's not really that good to bring here, unfortunately. And yeah, the party I have here isn't really ideal either fully, but uh, that's okay. We're chipping away. This won't take too terribly long, hopefully. I hope, anyway. This is already taking kind of a long while. But, uh, eh, that's okay. Sometimes, yeah, I, I don't fully optimize things. And you know what? That's okay. I'm only human, so what? whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see. See, I keep on going. For, yeah, Ice 2, Leap Slash, all the good stuff there. Uh, oh, what a heal of, heal of Marley's MP here, Tad. Uh, let's go for a uh, full other. Oh, there we go. Nice. It takes care of the uh, top half there. And uh, I don't know if anything else would really do well here. I'll try fire too to see if it'll do any other damage here. I kind of doubt it, but I'm just doing this because I'm curious. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's immune to like anything that's not really physical attacks, I suppose. And oh yeah, at this point... I can save I can save some MP and just go with uh, normal ice spells here with Marley. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no difference between using ice two or just ice one uh, to drop defense there, so that's cool with me. Uh, so may just uh, actually I want to have fraud attack here first. 
I'm gonna try to uh, maximize my damage here if at all possible. And then we'll go ice, then physical attack. Actually, this might be a little more of a better way to do it here. Go like ice, physical attack, then like leap slash, and then like kind of intermits the ice spells in between my other stuff here. I should also heal. Let me do that here real quick. Uh, let's see. Here. Yeah, we'll go for a double cure here again. Uh, may just yeah, we'll go for uh, ice. Well, I can't really go for, go with ice one for him, but whatever. Cool animation there for a double cure. I like that. And that is a full heal on the entire party. Just whatever your max XP is, boom, it's right back there. But, uh, yeah, it does take 5 MP per character, which is, uh, kind of not, uh... I mean, Marley and Frog have plenty of MP as is, so it's still plenty fine to use if they're together. But, like, really, just have Robo use Heal Beam, and you're way better off then. I see. So you go with Ice, then you go Physical Attack... Uh, I'll get Frog's MP healed up eventually. Yeah, also, yeah, I don't want to keep using Visible Attacks here because, of course, I don't want to keep increasing its, the thing's defense repeatedly. There we go. That makes my attacks do less and less damage there. Um, let's see here. So, yeah, you do that. So Frog will go uh, Leap Slash. We'll go Ice 2. Um, oh, yeah, I'll have somebody heal up Frog's MP here eventually. Hey, yeah, from what I gathered, each half here of Retinite Knight has, like, Six or seven thousand HP or so thereabouts. I at least wish that did damage. That's annoying that it doesn't do like anything. Um, oh yeah, let's have uh let's see, let's have you wait, no, let's have Never mind, he's dead! Yay! Ooh, 100 TP, awesome. Kind of a waste uh to have Marley for that one because she's already done with all of her texts, I guess. Uh, but, eh, not a big deal. I should have brought... I literally said I was going to have Ayla along. I totally forgot. Uh, oh, nothing for it now, I guess. Whatever. Ooh, got a muscle ring there. Nice. I actually may want to use that here. Because if I recall, that boosts... That should boost strength, right? Not just defense there. Okay, now it does boost stamina. Okay, yeah, I don't care about that. That could be okay on, like... Somebody squishier, say like Marley or Luke, there with it with their lower defense, but I don't really care to use those whatsoever. Just not my thing. Get up the stairs, Mate, may just Oh my god, I hate the sand here. It's super annoying. Alrighty, now after we defeat the Red Knight, there should haha, -ha, there it is. What do we got? Ooh, a power tab, nice. And we just go around here in a little <laughs> oval shape here. Yeah, that's the uh, sand for you there. Oh, but, oh, yeah, I was going to say with the Red Knight there, as far as charming goes, um, I don't know what it has to actually charm. I don't remember. Um, but, eh, not a, not a big deal. I'll survive without, I'm sure. Okay, so I need to heal up after that. At least my MP, anyway, here. So I'll just throw out a shelter. Uh, power tab I'll use whenever I feel like it. Uh, let's see here. So I want to go ahead and bring... Let's see, you still need Shock, you need Flare, you need Triple Kick, uh, you need Fraud Squash. May just, it's gonna be staying in pretty much permanently. Uh, yeah, we'll go with uh, these three here, why not? And, oh yeah, you know what? Trying to be quick with my menuing here, of course, get them all healed up. Do they really need that? I don't think so, no. But that's okay. Oh, hey Fiona, we're back! Oh, well, yeah, that, that does track. Oh, well, you uh, you unfortunately might not be able to, but we have a means of, uh, of kind of circumventing that. Yeah, sure, Robo. And he turned into a trackster? I'm, what, how, what, how are you doing that? I'm... Guys, you be patient. I'm, I'm watching Robo. Don't yell at me. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so now, yeah, Robo will tend to the fields here. So now we can go ahead and jump ahead to the future. Uh, 1,000 years. Well, 1,000 AD. 400 years in the future here. And we'll see how things are. Ooh, wow. Robo did a fantastic job. 
Uh, Fiona would be very proud. Unfortunately, at this point, she is kind of dead. What a shrine here, though, at least now. Nice. Yeah, we were uh, kind of there when it all began. Oh, uh, hats? Oh, cool, they sold uh, new hats here, actually. Well, I think we've seen all these so far. Well, okay, well, we've seen these two anyway. The sight cap there is new, but also they sell the vigil hat, which prevents status ailments, which I would like to have. They are super pricey, though. Um, yeah, I should buy these. Status prevention is hella, hella good. Now, I do lose the protection of the uh, rainbow helm, but I can't stay on those forever, so... Let's go ahead and give one of those to Marley. Now, they don't really have that much more defense, but that's okay. It's still, like, like I said, totally worth it. Uh, Mages here does not need one, actually. He'll do something else here pretty soon. Uh, let's see. Let's give one to, uh, you know, give one to Luca here as well. And then, um... Oh, yeah, I don't have Robo right now. Um, I'll give the other one to... Actually, I'll save the other one for right now. Oh, he's still alive? Oh, there he is. Uh, hey, buddy, you, uh, you doing okay? Looks like you've, uh, you've seen some better days. How long did it, did it really take you, like, all 400 years? Like, did he, like, only just recently stop planting the forest there? Or was he actually able to have a break after so long? Whenever it was uh, finally done. Now, I think here, he'll just say whoever person's name is at the front of your party here. In my case, it was Magus. I'm impressed you survived that long. Though, I guess you, guess you don't really need food or anything there. But, who, like, like who's, who's maintaining you? Oh, yeah, it has been quite a while since we last saw you. Uh, we just didn't have a party, like, out here. Oh, yeah, in the forest. This is quite the uh, iconic shot here. Oh, really? Why do you say that? If not him, then, like, then who else? Oh? Would that still not be Lavos, then? Some entity. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Oh yeah, I have heard that phrase and such before. I, I can't really say uh, for sure myself on that one. Yeah, it's... For some people, yeah, they do have regrets before they pass. Like, they weren't able to achieve all they wanted in life. But that is the sad truth of life there. This game really does hit on a lot of, like, really, like, thought-provoking themes here and all that. Oh. Interesting question there, Marley. Same question to, um... For you guys out there as well, since they're bringing it up here. I'm not sure what point in time I would want to go back to. I can think of some for sure, yes. Um, yeah, there's actually there's one in my mind that I would like to go back to. But if, that's, if I did do that, um, I know for sure my life from then on would be completely different. Um, for better and for worse. Uh, let's, let's, uh, move on from that for right now. Yeah, I'm curious to learn more about this entity, whatever it is there. Hmm? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering, too. Could be a who, could be a, a what, who has, yeah, I have, I have no idea. Could be just like a very, just... A, an abstract idea or something, for all we know. Could be any number of things. Oh, yeah, but our journey still is uh, far from over. Yeah, we still have all the side quests left to tackle. And the Black Omen. 
Which, yeah, I'm just save that for last, of course. Fraud, why do you sleep face down on your stomach like that? That's so weird. What's that sound? Also, guys, put the fire out before you go to sleep. We're in the middle of a forest. Smokey the bear would be pissed. Also, Mages, why do you sleep like that? What's that? Why is there a gate here? I... This is kind of freaking me out. Why is this here? Why is it red? The sound effects here are freaking me out a little bit. I will not lie. Because I can, I can really hear them well on my headset. To, to that moment? Wait, where are we? 624-990 AD. Okay, so this would have been 10 years ago. Prior to, of course, obviously, 1000 AD. Oh, this must be uh, Luca's uh, diary here or something. Uh, so we can't go... Oh, we can't go this way. Why are we back here, of all places? What's, uh, what's, what's going on? Oh, what's this? Password is the name of my lovely wife. Use it in, in an emergency. Uh, well, his wife's name is Lara. Yeah, L-A-R-A. -A. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. Ah, uh, so... Okay, yep, yep. Oh, oh! Um, this must be a flashback of, flashback of Luca's childhood here. This is before... Oh! Oh, shit balls! This is how... This is normally what happens to uh, Luca's mom here. That's why it explains how she's paralyzed now in 1000 AD. Now, yeah, you need to read the uh, book there on the table to know the password here. So, yeah, we need to get over here ASAP. Um, so, after this, L-A-R-A. -A. And there we go. Now, if you don't press that uh, in time, uh, Luda's mom will still time. Well, the events will still transpire as they normally would have anyway. Luda's mom would still be paralyzed. However, we saved her from that fate. But then, like, uh, what was I gonna? I I gonna say something. So say something after that. Oh, she fell asleep. Oh, wait, there's another notebook over here, it looks like. And this one apparently moved? Oh, I guess, yeah, she was asleep right there. She, she tossed it out of the way. Ah, so yeah, so we literally changed the course of history right there. We prevented Luca's mom from being paralyzed there. And in turn, this is how uh, Luca came to uh, learn about science and all that. So that would have been... Uh, well, that was June 24th, assuming they follow... Uh, the sixth month in their calendar is June... So, uh, July 2nd there. So, about a week later-ish there. And, uh, yeah, that's all we can do for right now. We can't go back downstairs because the paper's in the way there. Yeah, this is what I was saying before there. I think I, at least I touched on it there. How the side quests here are more than just giving you cool equipment and accessories or whatever. They also give us a deeper look, look into uh, all the characters' backgrounds here. Which is, it's so perfectly done. It seriously is. And it's, it's not forced in any way either. It's just done perfectly organically there. Oh? Oh, wow, that's cool. What is it exactly? Ooh, the green dream. Nice, a new accessory there. Uh, I believe that gives you a, a one-time revive if you get killed in battle. Uh, but I think it, it'll break once it, uh, once it does activate there. But alright, cool, there we go. So we've got that side quest done already. Nice, quick, easy one there. Let's see here, yes, yeah, so one time auto reanimate. We're not zombies game, we're people. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> yeah, I don't really actually use the green dream though, but it, it's still cool to have there though. Oh, uh, let's see, so let's go ahead, go back to Magus, Robo, and, uh, and Fraud there. I really should be using Ayla. Um, let me check here real quick, actually, my text here. 349. Oh, 54, actually. Okay, you're almost done there. Um, yeah, Ayla, I'll bring her back in after, uh, once Fraud is done there. 
Uh, okay, let's go ahead and move on to the next side quest. And by the way, too, once you clear out all, all the side quests here, Despar won't tell you about them anymore. Um, he'll just move on to the next available one. Um, so yeah, I want to do... Um, oh, you're still... What are you doing? Are you tending the fields here, I guess? But you're already in our party. This is, this is weird. I'm going to leave. <laughs> Better to not uh, fuss with that anymore. We don't want to mess up the time stream or anything there. I mean, there's a black omen and... Oh, what have we over here, huh? Ooh, Ozzy's Fort, huh? Interesting. Well, let's go ahead and get uh, saved up for right now, and then we'll delve into Ozzy's Fort next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This has been Mr. Moosey7 signing off, guys. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.